So this is going to be Donald Trump versus uh, Atlanta's district attorney, uh, Fonnie uh, Willis. He can face 110 years. So I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, it really can help me. So please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. Bad news for Donald Trump because Fonnie Willis has been, um, uh, uh, investigating him since 2021, almost the whole year 2021, shy a month or so. And uh, so uh, that's what we'll look at here. Is she going to make some headway on this? So what happened is on uh, February 10th of 2021, Atlanta DA Fannie Willis launched a criminal investigation into a telephone call and other attempts, which we all heard, by Donald Trump to influence uh, Georgia election officials, including the governor, Brian Kemp, and Attorney General Brad Raffensperger. I mean, so anyway, she said that at the time, no Georgia official is a target of the investigation. No Georgia official is a target of the investigation. If convicted, Trump could face 110 years in prison. And uh, on January of 2022, she requested a special grand jury to consider charges of election interference by Trump uh, and his allies. And so judges may seat a special grand jury to hear testimony regarding Donald Trump's uh, election fraud. And special meaning a jury to sit only for this case and could sit longer than usual uh, in order to subpoena those reluctant to speak. You know, they're subpoenaed that they got to wait, uh, like Republican Brad Raffensperger, who said uh, he's up for re-election. Election. He's scared of Donald Trump's base, but he would speak if he was subpoenaed. And regarding Donald Trump's uh, pressure to commit fraud, all roads lead to Trump in all investigations, apparently. So these, this is another Low Scarabio deck. This is the Pre-Raphaelite Tarot. And I just loved uh, the um, the way these the artwork on these. And so... Um, uh, they'll work. It's got a typical uh, instruction booklet. You know, you know, it's a little hard to read. It's in a couple different languages, I think. And um, the box is not much to talk about, but the cards are just really beautiful. You know, they uh, handle well. They got like a matte finish, and they go right to the edge of the cards, and they're very vivid and bright and interesting to look at. So I love these cards. And uh, sometimes you just need a deck like this for a reading, like we're gonna do. So. It's a good way for everybody to kind of see what the cards look like. And uh, maybe it'll uh, make you decide if you want to get uh, some tarot cards. And you don't have to get just uh, some kind of cryptic thing or... I mean, they've got all kinds uh, that you can choose from. I'm amazed at this Los Scarabio and Cairo Marchetti, um, the different uh, cards. It must be a, a card sweatshop they work out of there, to tell you the truth. So, we'll get this going. Okay, so Fani Will is District Attorney for Fulton County, Atlanta. You know, I've got some questions on a separate uh, lap, uh, tablet here that I'm gonna bring up, but you can't see them. But there it is. So, questions for Fawny Willis. But first, just a second, a meditation. takes. So, what can the cards let us know about Fawny Willis? I've got uh, four questions. Three will be three card questions and one will be a full Celtic cross with two parts. And the first question is, does Atlanta DA Fawny Willis have criminal evidence about the telephone call and the other attempts by Donald Trump to commit election fraud in Georgia? So, I mean, you know, other significant criminal evidence. I mean, we know about the phone call. That doesn't count, okay? Something besides that. Does Atlanta DA Fawny Willis have criminal evidence about the phone call and other attempts, other attempts by Donald Trump to, to commit election fraud in Georgia? So this will be three cards. One, two, three. 
let's see what we have here. First card, and this is going to be the Knight. Oh boy, Knight of what? Knight of oh, the Knight of Wands. Okay, so you see the wands right here, and this is the Knight. And uh, this uh, wands are uh, actions, uh, plans. That's very good. Forward movement. That's very good. Actions. Like I said, that's very good. This knight um, has uh, come off of his horse, okay? And uh, typically the knight is the uh, member of the royal uh, suite who's going to get this job done. He's been given a task, and uh, he's going to go out there and get it done because uh, that's what the king wants him to do, you know? So um, so the fact that this knight is off the horse, holding on to this great big, I mean, this is an enormous uh, wand here, very fruitful. I say, yeah, this is Fawny Willis, and she has plenty. Okay, she has plenty, or she wouldn't be seeking that special grand jury. I think she's feeling very good about this. Next card is whether she has criminal evidence about the phone call and other attempts by Donald uh, Trump to commit election fraud in Florida. And so this, oh, this is very good because this is the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is the person uh, who is just really flush with all kinds of value. They have everything they need. It's an embarrassment of riches. And uh, so, yeah, this, again... Is funny, and she feels very much uh, full of this uh, this uh, this valuable information. And then the third card off the rack, oh, is strength. So yeah, again, funny, and uh, she has strength. So yes, yeah, she's got plenty. She's got plenty, or she wouldn't be making this uh, request. Okay, very good so far. Now the next question for the cards: Does she have? Oh wait, let's see. Oh, does she actually have, at the time she made the statement that, she, that Gover, Georgia officials were not a target of the investigation, but as, as of now, does she have some government, Georgia officials, and also a target of the investigation? Does she also have other Georgia officials who are targeted of the investigation? Well, we get the Knight of Pentacles again, and we get the Queen of Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, Law, lots of information, the Queen of Swords, Queen of Truth. So does she have... Um, Georgia officials who are also a target of that investigation. Very interesting. Fonnie Willis. Three cards. Does she have other Georgia officials as a target of that investigation? One, two, and three. Does she have Georgia officials also in that investigation? So, again, so this is a little bit weaker, although this is a big plan. So this is the page... Yeah, this is the page of wands. So wands, again, are uh, actions, emotions, plans, information. This page uh, typically comes to the royal court with this information. He's not very strong, but he has this, look at the huge wand, very fruitful to bring to the court to say, look, here's what I got. I'll drop this off. So it looks like she may have some information about other officials. Oh, and so this, with this Ten of Swords, you know, this is uh, utter downfall. Swords of truth, justice, rules, and law. And this Ten of Swords is telling us that, you know, this is the end. This is the end of the cycle for somebody. Are there other officials? Ah, and then with this uh, Six of Swords, again, truth, justice, rules, law, but the Six of Swords is moving out of troubled water. And we'll notice that in this uh, particular card, we have actually a reflection of, of these folks who are trying to get out of troubled water in um, the water here itself. And is there a full reflection of everyone? Let me turn this over to look at the reflection. Because it seems to me that the one person we don't have in this reflection is the person moving this boat. Okay, so everyone's reflected in this, the people who are along for the ride, but not the person moving the boat. Interesting. So the question is, uh, does she have other Georgia officials as a target of the investigation? I think she has a little information. Um, could be the end of the road for those folks. And uh, they're not all reflected in this. The driver isn't necessarily reflected in this. Very interesting. So the third question, will a special grand jury go ahead and consider charges of election interference by Trump? Will the special grand jury uh, consider uh, charges of election interference by Trump? You know what? I don't mean consider. Will they find? Will the special grand jury find charges of election interference by Trump? Will the special grand jury find uh, uh, evidence of election fraud by Trump? Three cards. One. Two, three. Okay. 
will they find evidence of election fraud? So the first, okay, this is a great big, this is the Ace of Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, Law. Now this is interesting because this Ace of, is this the number one? No, this is not the Ace of Swords, this is the Magician. So this is very interesting. So this is the first uh, card of the Major Arcana. The Fool is number zero, and then the Magician is number one. And the Magician has on the table in front of them all the tools they need to make something happen. So if this is a special grand jury, they're, yeah, they've got everything right on the table right on the table to make this happen. Uh, the next uh, card for this is the Four of Pentacles. And so the Four of Pentacles are value. They can be money. Uh, the uh, Four is trying to hold on to that value. So that's very interesting. Trying to hold on to that value. So the special uh, grand jury will uh, re yeah, find uh, information and really want to nail it down. Uh, the last card for that question is the Six the six. This is the four. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a strange. Okay, this is the this is the emperor. Okay, yeah. So this is the emperor of the major arcana. So we've got uh, two major arcanas on either side of this reading. So the emperor is absolutely uh, what he says goes, and um, he holds all the power, all the cards. In other words, so yeah, yeah. They will find very uh, concrete evidence uh, that they want to nail down. And then the last, which is a full Celtic cross for this, will be a will Trump be convicted and then will he do prison time? All about the Georgia uh, uh, issues. Will Trump be convicted eventually of these issues in Georgia? And will he do prison time? Will Trump be convicted and will he do prison time? This is Trump. Trump, 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 Trump. Georgia. Will Trump be convicted? And will he do prison time? Full Celtic Cross will take six cards from the beginning. So this will be one, two, three, four, five. Will he be convicted? This first part of this Celtic Cross. So the signifier card for this, then, will Trump be convicted in Georgia? This is the ooh, this is the seven of the major arcana, and this is the chariot, and these are things moving along at a good pace. Yeah, uh, it seems like perhaps he would. That's a signifier. The challenge to that, though, is um, this king of swords. So truth, justice, rules, law. The king. So okay. So the challenge to this is uh, achieving the prosecution. The king is in charge of that of those values, and uh, things are moving along at a at a rapid pace. But the king, uh, the the uh, actual law, may be what slows this down. Trying to to get this nailed down perfectly. The base of this reading, then. Oh look, and the cards come back up. So this is that. This is interesting because this is that page of wands that we saw in that in that uh, other question, and so. This makes me think that the base of this may be uh, some of the other people that are involved information to court. Yeah, they want to save themselves. The past to this reading, with his five of pentacles, yep, being left out in the cold. There you go. So this is, um, yeah, this is the Trump side, and they're just being left out in the cold. All the value. Yep. The uh, sky for this. Is the is this the stars is temperance? This is uh, 15, 16, 17. So this for me is the star. The star is hope. So there's always a lot of hope uh, in the sky that this is going to go the way that uh, Fawny expects it to. Very interesting. Uh, the final outcome for the first part of this, and that is the question: Will Trump be convicted? And uh, again, the emperor. So another repeat. So yeah. Yeah, the emperor has has got all the goods. Now the last part of this, the last part of this for this uh, full Celtic cross is going to be: Will he do prison time? Will he actually do prison time for the Georgia? Wow, that's when he was really getting desperate towards the end of his. Uh, uh, you know, it was like one of the last things he saw he could do, and he leaned on those guys hard in that phone call, if you remember, for an hour. So the the self of that question, will Trump do prison time? Okay, for the Georgia part, wow. This is um, judgment. Wow. 
<laughs> this is this is literally judgment man okay the um environment that that card is in ah this truth justice rules of law has this person surrounded okay the funny thing about this eight of swords truth justice rules law is that the person can typically you know wiggle out of this in other words this person could turn around walk the other way but look she's got some swords behind her she could cut her feet she could move forward but this is going to be walking into some a pool of compassion and emotion so there may be that that gives this person some relief but uh, this is one of you know typically this figure is loosely bound i have to say in this uh, deck this is the most uh, securely bound i've seen a figure uh, represented in this eight of uh, swords and i've got a lot of decks so the the uh, environment that this judgment is in is really being surrounded by all that truth, justice, rules, law, even a couple of swords on the ground behind them to block their path. Wow. Interesting. The uh, hopes and the fears for that is... Um, so this is an ace of cups. Ah, the hopes and the fears. The only thing he can count on is some compassion, a big offer of compassion. And then the final outcome for this whole reading ah, is the Ten of Wands. So Wands are actions, plans, motions, forward movement. And the Ten of Wands is gathering up all these, and it's hard. You can see here the position this person is trying to take to get this done is difficult. I've got to tell you, this also reminds, reminds me of Trump more so than it does of uh, Fonny uh, Willis. I think he's going to have a hard uh, time trying to push his plans to... Uh, get out of this. So just to talk about it again uh, quickly, <clears throat> the first question was, will Trump be convicted? Right out of, the, out of the gate, we get the chariot, things moving at a rapid pace. But then we get a, um, a challenge to that is actually the law with this King of Swords. The uh, base of this reading is this page coming in with more information. I think this might be some other George, George, George officials. In the past, this is being left out in the cold. No doubt that's Trump. In the sky, this is the hope with the star card that this can get done. And then the uh, final outcome for the first part of that is this emperor who's going to he's going to achieve what he wants to achieve. And then the last part uh, being asked if you're actually do prison time. Look, judgment is the first card that came out of the rank. This, the uh, environment that that's in is being trapped with this truth, justice, rules, law. Uh, the hopes and the fears are the compassion. He hopes he gets some compassion and fear that he doesn't. And then the final outcome for the whole thing, including this, this looks like Trump to me just trying to push his plans, his ideas forward, and it's hard, although it's not impossible. So that's what I get for this. So who's your money on? Fonny or Trump? I know who I'd bet on. Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.